Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'll show you how you can add a spinner to your game. So a few days ago, I was watching this um, video made by Wishforge Games titled Test and Square Emoji on my Android device. We added a spinner on the splash screen to display his game was loading. So I decided to recreate this spinner which he had created and my first guess on a way to achieve this was to use a sprite object and then use events to make it rotate around a point. So another thought was to create animations to a sprite object and then position this spinners at different positions so when you play the animation it displays it in a way where it looks like it's spinning but the problem with those systems is that they lack customizations in the sense that when you want to increase the distance from the anchor point you have to go and reposition the object add them to the sprite all over again and it's just time wasting so for this in this tutorial i'll be showing you an extension which would let you create the spinners with just a single block of events so let's begin so the name of the extension is the orbiton object extension so to install the extension you have to go into your projects manager search for new extension then search for orbiton there we go make object orbit around a center object so select this and install in project so here we go we have that installed now let's go back close and it's on new scene so in my new scene i currently don't have any objects so let's add a new object and let's add a sprite add an animation and add i would add this object and okay so the object name would be anchor as this would anchor the rest object which will rotate around it so hit apply and let's put this into the scene so this would be our center object now we need to add in the orbiting object for this i'll duplicate and so i'll name this orbiting and this would be our orbiting object so that's all the object we need for this now let's head into our events and add an action so for this you go into other actions and then scroll to make object orbit around a center object so let's open this and select this action which make object orbit around a center object select this so here we have the two objects the center which would be our anchor and we have the orbiting object which would be our orbiting so the quantity of orbiting objects so this is actually the amount of objects you want the amount of the orbiting objects you want rotating around our anchor object for this i'll set this to five so it would create five objects five instances of the orbiting object the orbiting speed this is the speed it takes orbits around the center so i'll set this to um i guess 50 would do so distance from the center object so these are the customizations i'm talking about for this they're called the properties you can set the distance from the orbiting and the anchor for this i think i'll set this to 100 and the angular speed in degrees this would go for 30 so layer that the orbiting object will be created on um unless you're using this to display an ammo which you want to follow the screen i would advise you keep this on the base layer the Z order of orbiting objects, I'll set this to 1. And the starting angle offset, I'll set this to 0. Basically where the offset starts from. So at the bottom we have the last, which is reset location of orbiting objects after quantity is reduced. You can use this other action to reduce the quantity of the objects, which are linked to the center object. So for this, we won't be using this other extension so we'll just set this we won't be using this other object so we'll set this to no so okay and that's it so let's preview this so there you go that's how easy it is to create this now if you want to hide the center we we'll just add an action to hide it which is our anchor and hide okay so let's preview this and there we go so i can increase the number of orbiting objects and i'll set this to about 10 
There you go. You can also increase the speed, which is the orbit speed. You can set this to 100, which should be faster. And that's it. So the distance and everything can be set from the properties. So there you go. That's how to create a spinner in GDevelop 5. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.